We need to work fast. 30. I love the mechanical aspect of it. In all reality, this is what is going to prepare us for the real thing. So Mr. Shapiro, you're going to be um, admitted here to the unit. These nurses are going to take care of you today. I think we're just going to run some tests. Are you in any pain right now? Let's go ahead and call a rapid. Rapid response typically is called when, you know, your patient is crashing. Rapid response. And you see those vitals are not going in the right direction and we need a little bit of backup. <laughs> we stopped responding and went into VFib. Today, we had respiratory involved, which was a lot of fun because we got to learn a little bit more about that interdisciplinary communication and you know why we need them in a hospital setting and why they need us. So the respiratory therapist was at the head of the bed to assure the airway was opening. A little bit of panic. It's chaos, but we try to control the chaos a little bit with different roles. One, two, three. The nurses are pumping the meds and doing compressions. You're just wanting to clear the airway so it's one less thing that they have to do on their end. Begin CPR. <laughs> and it really is the nurses and respiratory working together. Um, you want it to be one well-oiled machine. All right, we're in the chest. We have CO2. Working fast and working strategically, you know, because you've got to make sure everybody has their role and, and they're participating the way that they need to. Respiratory therapy is a hidden gem. You might get a job to where you never as a student saw Code Blue and you're the nurse or the respiratory therapist at the Code Blue. So it really opens you up. They have a great nursing program. You know, it's, it's reputable. A lot of these hospitals know it and they like to hire FSW grads because, you know, they can see, they can see the, the work ethic graduating from this college.